Hello everyone, welcome to Minecraft Mods Episode 2. Today, I'm going over three mods as always. Uh, just a disclaimer, uh, it might be a little laggy compared to my other videos, but these three mods are the camera, the torch bow, and the hammer slash super axe mod. Now these mods are pretty cool in my opinion. If you want to download any of these mods, the link will be in the description below. Now the first mod is the camera mod. It adds three different items to your world. Now the first one we're going to be going over is the camera. You need to craft it with six iron bars, a glass pane, redstone, and a button. It does have to be a wooden button, I believe. So when you craft that, you'll get a camera. To actually use the camera, you right click, and as you can see on screen, there's a little camera. I don't know how to put it overlay. And while you're have the while you have the camera open, you can use your scroll wheel and you can zoom in and out depending on what you're taking a picture of. Now, so if I want to take a picture of that sheep, I can zoom in and right click a second time. And as you can see, there's an image in my inventory. So whenever you take a picture with this camera, it will consume one piece of paper. I'm in creative mode, so I did not need any paper. But if you are in survival, you will need paper to take a picture. Something else I want to say about this camera is if you sneak and right click, sneak is the shift button usually if you don't play on PC, and you can choose a filter. So if I press next, it will be inverted, this will invert all the colors, and I will be going over all the filters once the video is over. So once I have a filter selected, I can press escape and get out of it. Now when I go to take a picture, as you can see, it's completely inverted, the colors are different. Which I think that option is pretty cool. Now the second item I'm going to go over is the album. Now this album, as you could probably guess, stores all of your pictures. So if you go to an image, shift, and right click, first of all you can view your image. Ah, uh, that's what I was going over there. But if you want to add the image to your album, you shift, right click on the album, and you can add the image to your album just like a regular chest. Now to view all your images, all you have to do is right click the album, and they are all right here. Oh, I was trying to show you how to switch. So yep, as again, shift, right click. You can view your, put your images in your album. Just right click to view your album. Now you can use your regular arrow keys to switch the picture, I think. Hold on. Okay, it's your scroll wheel that switches your picture. So if you use your scroll wheel, you can go through all the pictures you have taken. That's actually the moon with the inverted camera option, which is kind of cool. Now the last item in this mod is the image frame. Now I'm actually going to need an image for this one, so I'm just going to grab that. So you're going to want to put down your image frame, and you can obviously put down any image in that frame, and it will frame it like a picture which you probably expected. However, if you want to change the size of your image frame, if you shift and right click, you can resize the frame. You click left, the image goes out one block to the left every time you click. And if you go right, it'll go right, and up, goes up, and etc. So now I have a huge item frame. So if I want to put the image in there, now the image is, well, massive. You can resize the image with an actual image in there, so you don't have to place down the item frame without an image to resize it. You can resize it with or without an image in the frame. The max image size is 12 by 12, and I just broke the image. I don't even know how I did that. Yeah, but the max image frame size is 12 by 12 so keep that in mind if you're trying to make an entire wall out of an image or something along those lines. Now the next mod I'm going to be going over is the bow torch mod or the torch bow mod. To craft that you're going to want to 
get a bow and a flint and steel. Go to your crafting table, combine them together. Doesn't matter where you put the bow or flint and steel, as long as they are in the crafting grid, you'll get your torch bow. So, you're gonna need torches in your inventory for this to work. So if I have my bow, I can shoot it, and wherever the arrow lands, a torch will be placed. Now this is very useful for cave systems, or if you're exploring, we'll just say the end or nether, and it's a really high place up in the air, you can always use your bow, shoot an arrow, and a torch will be placed there, so that's pretty cool. Also if you have any modded dungeons, sometimes those can get pretty large, and you might want to either put a torch in a room before you go in the room to clear out any mobs, or just to light the place up easier, you can use this mod. Like I said before, all mods will be linked in the description. Now the final mod is the, well, hammer mod slash super axe mod. Now this is how you craft a hammer, you're going to need 5 diamonds and 2 sticks, and the axe is 4 diamonds and 2 sticks, recipes on the screen. This represents a 3x3 three three crafting grid, as you might have guessed. Now I'm going to grab the diamond hammer and super axe. Now there is a wooden, iron, stone, gold variety of all of these hammers and axes. You just replace the diamond with that material you want to craft it with. So if I go over to a tree with my super axe, I'm going to have to go into survival first. That's the only thing. So I'm in survival now. Uh, that's the hammer. The icons in your hotbar look pretty similar, so you're really going to have to rely on the names or whatever you're holding. Let's look at it. Whenever you switch your item, it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little animation. But with the super axe, when you mine a tree, it will destroy the entire thing. So I got, let's see, is any other wood around? 44 pieces of wood in about... I'd say maybe 3 seconds just from using this hammer. I think that is very worth it. I'm pretty sure these super axes have the same durability as a regular diamond axe. I'm not sure it does say durability. It does not, but it has 9 attack damage. That's a lot, actually. And the hammer is 5, so not as much. That's, I think, less than a diamond sword. Or more than a diamond sword, rather. So, the diamond super axe mines out a whole tree, which is pretty cool. Now the diamond hammer, let's just dig down a few blocks to actually find stone. I'm pretty sure the diamond hammer only works on stone. Yes, it only works on stone. So when you mine, it will destroy a complete 3x3 three three area. So you can complete giant tunnels really quickly with this hammer mod. And I think that is really cool. This is pretty good for strip mining as well. But I'd say it's more useful just for clearing out areas. Like I said, if you run into any dirt, you will not be able to destroy it. It will kind of mess up your 3x3 three three crafting grid. It's not crafting grid, um, destroying block grid. I don't know how you say it. It just destroys a 3x3 three three area of blocks. Pretty simple. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to be going over all the filters on the camera just so you can see them. I'm going to want to go to creative mode again. So if you are not interested in seeing all the filters for the camera, feel free to click off the video now, as you will probably not be too interested. So I'm going to clear out my inventory real quick, and I'm going to grab a camera from this chest, and we're just going to be checking out every filter. So as you can see before, or as you saw before, uh, the inverted one, pretty cool. The water's yellow, looks weird. Everything's all weird. So, next one is blurry. So I go in here, all blurry. This is quite weird. Oh, when you zoom in, your sensitivity gets really, feels really high, I guess you could say. Sensitivity feels crazy high, which is, I'm not sure how I feel about that, it's just kind of weird. The next one is overexposed, which I don't know what that means. Oops, I should click. I think it just brightens up the area and kind of, looks like the saturation is up a little bit. Uh, the brightness went up. 
and I can't really tell what else it did, and this is a lot of monsters and sheep over here, jeez. But, alright. Camera's on cooldown, that's another thing I forgot to mention, is there is a cooldown so you cannot just spam pictures. Oh, alright. I forgot to shift click that time. So next I'm oversaturated, you can probably guess what this one's gonna look like. You know, oversaturated. Look at this creeper. This is pretty cool. Another thing I forgot to mention about the cameras is that all these pictures, they will also save to your world file on Minecraft. So all you have to do is go to your .minecraft folder, go to your world section, and you'll see all these screenshots taken. I don't think they, they don't save as a screenshot on your computer. But I'm sure if you go to your downloads file or whatever, something like that, you will find these pictures. So, we're actually getting quite a lot of pictures over here. So, shift, we'll go to the, don't even know how to say that, Sepa, Sepia. And it's kind of dark, I guess you could say. There's basically no color. It's not quite black and white, it's part orange. Which I think is kind of interesting. The next one, black and white. Uh, as you can imagine, it's black and white. Get okay, close up a skeleton over there. Look over here, skeleton. Don't I'll just get the side of its head. It's fine. All right. Next one, desaturated. Everything looks dull, no color. Even if it wasn't nighttime, it would still look pretty weird. Can I capture exactly one block? I can. Look, I got exactly a block inside that little overlay, which is pretty cool. So that means it goes by pixels, just like Minecraft does. Go to the next filter, and oh, the next filter is just none. So that's just normal camera, zoom in, zoom out, everything is all good. So. I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe, now uh, this is the real ending, no more parts of the mod showcase, and yeah, links to the mods will be down in the description below, I feel like I should say something else, but I have nothing else to say, so I'm just gonna end the video here, bye everyone!